Hello and welcome to Civilization 6. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are kicking off a brand new Let's Play here on the channel. And we are going to be playing as the one and the only Teddy Roosevelt. Because I have a- that's not Teddy Roosevelt. I have a strategy in mind. And my strategy relies quite heavily on Theodore Roosevelt's ability to give his units a plus five combat strength on their home continent, and then plus one appeal to all tiles in a city with a national park. Basically, I would like to take over and rule over an entire continent on the map and then go from there. So initially, I'm gonna be building an army, I'm gonna be maintaining and managing barbarians, I'm gonna be establishing trade routes, I'm gonna be everybody's best friend. But eventually, I'm going to turn on every single person that has a city on the same continent as me, and I'm gonna take over the entire thing. And then, if they will accept peace, I will accept peace. If they don't, then they'll taste the hand of freedom, and they will be liberated, and they will ascend to glory. That's the idea, at least. And while I'm setting up the rest of the game, I would like to just let you know that I am not necessarily going to be playing this game in any manner that you might deem good. If you've played Civ a lot, then this is maybe not going to be for you. Because I'm not going to be playing traditional strategies and I'm not going to be applying methods and plans and all that stuff. I'm playing this for fun. Hence the idea that I want to be everybody's best friend and then eventually turn on them and deliver freedom across the map. It's going to be silly, but it's going to be fun. And I'm going to try and to not be a complete scrub. But I haven't played enough Civ to necessarily guarantee that I won't be a complete uh, scrub. I would like to go ahead and just turn on the yield icons so we can see what we have around here. We have production around the place. We have wheat. We have incense. We have deer. We have copper. A lot of incense, actually. This isn't a terrible start. There's production. There's not much food, but there is wheat. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to settle where we are. So Washington is going to be right there. Quite far north, actually. And for the time being, I'm going to set my warrior to go ahead and auto-explore. We'll eventually bring them back to defend the city. But for the time being, until we have a scout, we're not going to do that. So we're going to get a scout and get them exploring. And in terms of research... Since we have wheat inside of the area, and since animal husbandry doesn't apply to deer, pottery will let us harvest wheat. So we're going to go straight for pottery. Then we'll go straight to the next turn and hope for the best. Now, the interesting thing and something I will explain is if we have a quick look at the tech tree here, there are various things you can do to boost research. So for sailing... If I founded a city on the coast, that would give me a boost to my sailing research. For astrology, find a natural wonder and I'll get a boost to astrology. The same applies to things like these, which are civics. Now, civics are basically things you're going to use for your government or types of government. So in this case, eventually, once we have it, I'm going to go for craftsmanship. And craftsmanship is going to give me the option to play a card, this card specifically, which will give me plus 30% production towards builders, and also plus 50% production towards ancient and classical era melee and ranged units. I'm picking that over foreign trade because foreign trade will give me the trader unit who can maintain a single trade route and automatically create roads, thus bringing me money. However, I want craftsmanship first because hopefully by the time I've got craftsmanship, I will have just about met a city-state or another sieve. If we happen to meet one of those guys before, then maybe I'll go straight for foreign trader, but that's the idea. But again, you can boost those by, you know, discover a second continent, for example. So that's what they are, and that's the way that's going to work. We'll go straight for next turn, and immediately we have discovered a city-state. We have discovered Mohenjo-Daro. I'm not going to pretend to know how to pronounce that. Uh, that's kind of annoying that they are so close to us, but not much of a big deal. Uh, because 
Actually, they've given me a quest, which I'm okay with. They want me to send them a trade route. And that'll be good because that quest is actually gonna... If I go in here, quests, that will give me an envoy. And an envoy is a thing I can use to basically have influence over this city-state. Eventually, if I send three envoys, I will... In, my, in the case of having one envoy, plus two culture in the capital. Three envoys will give plus two culture in every theater square district, which is a thing we'll get to eventually. But three envoys also gets me all of this stuff. Or rather, three envoys and more envoys than any other civilization, which means other civs can send envoys to this city-state. But if I have more, then I get all of this stuff, which is this city-state will follow me into war and peace. They, my units may enter the territory. My builders can improve the tiles. I can see three tiles around the state. And one that's kind of interesting is I can pay gold to temporarily take control of their military. That one's useful. I can also gain ownership of their resources, which are currently none. So, uh, some kind of cool stuff you can do there with uh, with trading and uh, envoys and all that. And for some reason, I had a weird pause in the word trading. But uh, yeah, that's a cool thing you can do. Hopefully, we can get these scouts sooner as opposed to later, so I can go ahead and get my warriors back to the capital. Decent bit of food up this way, not much in the way of... Not much in the way of production. I also realize this isn't necessarily a great spot. I probably should have just moved to there. Because we have this mountain immediately in our zone. We have just expanded to grab this though, which is nice. Uh, now that we have the scouts, we'll go ahead and set them to auto-explore. I'll bring my warriors back. We also have some fish and some crabs along the coast. We can also get a new production. So... The monument will give me plus two culture, which is all well and good, but I actually want to get a builder because I can use a builder to improve these tiles and increase my... I can use it to increase my production, which will make the monument a quicker build in the long run. I can also hopefully... Well, I will be able to get the wheat resource by the time the builder has actually been made. Which is the thing I would like as well, so hopefully that's not going to be too long. Well, I said it's not going to be too long. It's going to be seven turns. That's... No big deal, though. We have some barbarians. We, we've we also completed a civic. Well, let's look at our policies, then. So these are our policies. And these are the cards I was talking about. Now, what I'm going to do is give all of my combat units plus five strength when fighting barbarians. And I also want plus one production in all of my cities. So we'll do that. That's going to be my agenda. I could have my warriors go and try to take out the... Barbarian scouts, but instead I'm gonna have them go and sit inside the city because the barbarians are probably going to try and take the city at some point Now that we have The option to pick a new civic. I am gonna go for foreign trade Just because I would like to get a trade route set up between Washington and uh, Mohenjo-Daro It's gonna take 11 turns to get there, but that's not gonna be much of a big deal uh, There's actually a lot of fishing along this north coast, which is very interesting indeed. Let's go ahead and fortify the city there. And we've discovered a barbarian camp. As well as a tribal village. We also have pottery. Okay, let's choose a new research. Now, animal husbandry is still not really something I need. In fact, I... Do we have animals anywhere near here? Not really. Sailing is a tempting one, although it's 18, it's 18 turns for it, but we could get all of that fish along there. I guess mining is going to be a good one as well, although we don't have any hills. But it does allow the chopping of woods and harvesting of copper, which we do have, so let's go mining. Let's, uh, let's grab some mining. As for you guys, I am going to have you immediately come back. I'm actually slightly concerned that we have barbarians right there. In fact, you know what? You can go up there. Because I want you to go to the tribal village. Because we can get some stuff from the tribal village. Uh, yeah, I'm slightly concerned because there was a barbarian scout down this way. And there's a barbarian spearman in the camp itself. Which makes me think there's probably a camp down this way as well. So we are going to want to be very, very careful. Let's go into there. My knowledge of archery has been increased. Now that's very interesting. And that's very interesting because... Archery is something you can boost already. 
if I go ahead and show you. Uh, archery, you can boost if you kill a unit with a slinger. But we got the boost anyway because of the tribal village. So that's quite cool. That actually makes things a bit easier because it means I don't have to build a slinger and then upgrade it. Which is, of course, a thing you can do. But rather than upgrading the unit, I can just straight up build an archer a bit sooner as opposed to later. It means I don't have to build a slinger to get the boost. I already have the boost. So that's good. As for this, I would quite like you to go up there and start working on that tile. We can also choose a new production, either a monument, which gives me culture, or a granary, which will give me food and housing. Neither of these actually cost gold to run and maintain. That said, the temptation to get another warrior to help defend is quite high. But I don't think I'll need it. I'll get the monument so I can get that quicker expansion, then we'll go for granary. Although we might get the defensive wall before we get the granary. It depends how things go. Well, let's just keep things moving along. And uh, you guys have returned. I would kind of like you to uh, try and ex explore down that way, I guess. So head down that way and see what's up. See if we can find this barbarian camp and see if we can find any sieves as well. Uh, a unit needs orders. I... Interesting. Oh, we don't have mining, do we? I guess you can sort of just sleep until we have mining. I could have had you improve some other tiles. That was actually kind of silly of me, but... We'll just have you sleep and we'll follow the scout for the time being. I do really want to find the barbarian camp to the south. Because, uh... That's not it either. Those are barbarian warriors, though. But that is still, uh... Oh, hello. What is this? What is this? Who are they fighting? Who are they fighting? Hold up a minute. Oh, we got mining. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Sean Bean. That is hugely appreciated, buddy. Uh, I want you to go there. We have... Ma okay. Let it be known between us that will... Treachery with blood... Who are you? You are the Scythian Empire, the Scythian Empire. Okay, okay. Well met. That's fine. So that's you. Yeah. Scythia, war Scythia Warriors. We'll go with Scythia for the time being. So that means we there is another Civ down this way. That's scary. Let's see. So, uh, what I'd like to do, actually, is have you go ahead and build a mine. My knowledge of the wheel has been boosted, which is good. My knowledge of writing is boosted as well. I still don't need animal husbandry, though. Irrigation will let me clear marsh and also let me get plantations. Another one, we do have pottery as well. I really should get them over here. Masonry, not really interested. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Writing is good for science, isn't it? Very good for science. Let's do writing. And let's have you guys come over this way. Yeah, there's a few, you've got a few things you can build around here. Go over there. Uh, we'll get that done eventually. Next turn, we'll see what's going on. Hello, I have sent you a trade delegation bearing a decorated... Goritos, I don't know what that is, but thank you. Thank you for your trade delegation. That is hugely appreciated and very kind. Where are you? Every nation lives by oh, hello. Exchange. Civic completed, foreign trade. Good. I'm not going to change my policies. If I want to uh, unlock these two policies down here, I will need to change the type of my, the type of government I have. I can do that eventually. I don't really want to do it just yet. Uh, I will choose a new civic, though. The craftsmanship can be useful. I'll get the production bonus towards builders and production towards melee and ranged units, which I will actually go for because I'll probably want that. Not that I'll use it, just, you know, I'll want it. Let's head over this way and see what we can see. Not a whole lot, but that's all right. Oh! Why did you get up there? I'm hoping you went around me and a barbarian encampment hasn't just popped up to the north. 
That would be a bit of a pain. But I'm sure we'll see. I also think after this uh, monument is built, I might actually build a trade delegation. I cannot speak, apparently. My throat just completely left me. I might build a trade delegation and send it to uh, Mohenjo Daro. Or send it down here, because we pretty much just discovered where uh, the Scythian Empire happens to be. So we'll see. We might send it this way. Depends what gives me the best deal, I suppose. Who needs orders? You need orders. Uh, build me a farm, please. There we go. My knowledge of irrigation has uh, advanced considerably. We can head over there and build another one. But Washington expands quite nicely. I do need to be careful to uh, not expand too much because I do need some of these tiles to build districts and all that stuff. But now that we have the monument, my culture is going to be up a little bit. We can still get the granary, which is eight turns. I would like the trader, though, because that can be very good for getting uh, some gold. Some very nice boosts to, uh, to gold. Now, as for you... We could have you build a farm. That is definitely a thing. Uh, incense requires irrigation. So, let's have you build a farm. It's food and housing, which is useful. What if we went over there instead? I don't know. Um, incense requires irrigation. What if I go there? Can I do any? I assume I can't actually do anything. So that's annoying. We'll just go back there then. That's fine. We'll build that next turn. That was a complete wasted turn, but I guess these guys are moving at the moment. These guys have, uh, the Scythian Empire has some slingers coming out a little bit there. They also have some sheep. We'll go ahead and build a farm. Your progress towards craftsmanship has been advanced. We now have craftsmanship. I could go and change my policies, obviously. We have the production towards builders. We have the 100% uh, production bo uh, bonus to those... Ah naval units. Now, that's the one I wanted. Now, the thing is, I, am I even going to build that many of them? I guess I probably will. Double experience for recon, I don't really care. More gold from trade routes is always nice. More production towards builders. Um, I guess since I'm going to be working to boost... The, tr the production in my cities anyway. I'll go ahead and get the more gold from trade routes. And because I'm not going to be doing that much combat against barbarians. I mean, I will be, but I don't think I need the bonus. So I'll do the... I'll do the old... Uh, good old... That one there. So more production for those units themselves. Which means I will be able to uh, crank out more units. Let's see what we have here. So we have military tradition. We have this, which... Gives me two great general points per turn and 100% production towards uh, cavalry units. I don't care. Don't want those. An oracle. It's a wonder. Patronage of great people costs 25% less faith. Districts in this city provide plus two great person points of their type. For example, great rider points from the theater square district must be built on hills. State Workforce, we have plus 15% production towards Ancient and Classical Wonders, and unit maintenance reduced by one gold per turn per unit. Okay, that's useful. Early Empire will give me... Reduce the cost of purchasing a tile by 20%, and more produ uh, less production, or 50% production... Plus 50% production towards settlers. So more production when it comes to making settlers. Which, again... I will want to do, I just don't think I really want it yet. So I don't really want any of these. Though that will give me flanking and com uh, support combat bonuses. That unlocks the ability to enforce borders and grant open borders. Awards an envoy. And un uh, awards nothing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm so sorry, my throat is completely dying recently. Uh... I want the envoy, because I want to have some influence over these guys, Mahenjo Daro. So we'll do that. And you guys are bringing your slingers up there. Let's go ahead and move over this way, I guess. Oh, that's rice, isn't it? Yeah, a fair bit of rice there. Actually, a lot of food in this area. I can't wait till I own this area. That's going to be fun. A lot of food, a few sheep. Uh, 
There's cattle. There's... Hold on. There's a lot of stuff down there. There's a lot of incense. There's a wheat. There's marble. There's rice. There's a lot of stuff around there. Let's have you guys go ahead and just keep exploring that way. More marble. More deer. Good lord. I'm very much okay with this. We also have the... Ah, research completed. Writing. Beautiful. Choose research. Let's... Let's see. Now, irrigation is a thing I... Think I would like. Because it will... It can be built... Yeah, it can be built on bananas. It can be built on... Incense as well. I think. If built on a luxury resource, the city will gain that resource. We... Did we have bananas? Or am I thinking of a different game? I didn't clear them by any chance, did I? No, I think I'm- I think I'm- I'm ma imagining a different game. Don't worry about it, I'm just- I've played a bit of this. Let's maybe go for irrigation then. So we can start getting the incense, which is a nice luxury resource to have. We've discovered the barbarian camp. And of- oh, hello. There we go. Let's go there. That's gonna give us plus five gold and plus one culture, which I'm completely okay with. Uh, we will begin that trade route. And, uh, my knowledge of currency has been advanced. Now, what I'd also like to do is have you guys pop into that little village. My knowledge of my progress towards early empire has advanced considerably. Which is fine by me. Let's move down here, because there is another city-state. Nanmadol! Okay. Let's get a production here. We could go for the campus, which is a district. We could go for the granary. We could go for slingers and all that stuff. I don't really think I want any units yet. I don't really feel... I'm not... I'm not being threatened, basically. Like, there's no threat against me right now. So I don't really think I need to worry about building units. We'll go for the granary, which is plus one food, plus two housing. Uh, Twelve turns for the campus anyway. So we'll get that. The trader is going to head over towards uh, this space. You guys can, I guess, keep run, uh, wandering around. I would really like to come back over this one and see if we can see the actual city for the uh, Scythian or Scythian. I'm going to say Scythian. I'll stick with Scythian. I want to see if we can see the city itself because we could set up a trade route to there as well. But at the moment, we're doing okay. I mean, in terms of... Uh, in terms of in terms of science, we got 4.1, 6.9 culture, uh, no faith, but we do have 12 gold coming in as well, which is kind of nice. Can we see the city? No. They must have huge borders. Actually, there's a little bit in there I could probably go to, which I think I will. Wait, can I go through those borders? Oh boy. Am I trying? Are you a city state or are you? No, I'm. No, you're not. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, now, this is what I was talking about here. So, if I denounce, if I denounce the Scythian Empire, within five turns, I can declare a formal war. Which is interesting. That's an interesting thing you can do. And what that'll do is that will sort of negate any potential warmonger penalty. Now, in this case, there isn't going to be a penalty. Because I, I don't think there'll be a penalty anyway. I think the reason might be because I, ha I don't know any other civs. But I don't want to declare war anyway. In fact, I'm going to send a, a delegation. You will not... Ex really? Can we be friends? Uh, no. Okay. Let's make a deal. I have nothing to give you. I would like to give you some gold. I would like, very specifically, to not give you 100 gold. I would like... To give you, I'm going to say, 31 gold to take you up to a nice round 250, because I'm considerate like that. I'm going to give you this gift. There we go. I just want to make sure that you're happy. You are currently unfriendly. You like civilizations who are their declared friend. You hate civilizations who backstab and declare surprise wars. Well, the thing is, I'm probably no oh, good lord. I didn't notice this happening. Ah, interesting. That's, that's very, when did this happen? 
Okay. So we got that. That's fine. Uh, we can do some pretty serious damage to these guys here. Which is good. Those are obviously barbarian slingers. Which kind of makes me think there was probably a barbarian camp. Actually, it was probably just that one, to be honest. Let's set my scouts to just automatically explore again. So we can see what's up. And we'll choose a new civic. Now, early empire is the enforcing borders and open borders and all that stuff. And we're five turns away from it. So we'll go straight for it. I can also send an envoy. If I so desire to uh, these guys here. Now, these guys actually have a quest for me. What is the quest? Recruit a great prophet. No, I'm probably okay. Uh, as for you guys, I think I will send you another envoy. Because that seems like a pretty good idea. So we'll confirm that. Which means I can now see around you quite a bit. And I can also, if I want to, levy your military. And take them as my own for uh, 30 turns. Which is interesting. That's an interesting amount of time that you can do that for. I did try on a live stream to take a civilization's military and then turn it on them. That doesn't work, funnily enough. That was suggested by Twitch chat. And uh, like I said, didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, now, these guys do have a couple of warriors. How much? We've got irrigation as well. Good lord. Where did my... Uh... I could swear I'm losing builders left and right. I could swear I had more of them. Anyway, we'll get more of them in just a second. We could go for currency. It'll take 15 turns to get that. We could get the wheel in 10 turns. Unlocks the water mill and the heavy chariot. Animal husbandry, I still don't think we need. Bronze working, kill three barbarians. I mean, there's three of them there, but I don't think I could do that yet. It does reveal iron, though. Which is useful. Definitely useful. I think... I might... Well, I, the thing is, I don't know if I do really... I don't really need animal husbandry, because there's nothing nearby that's going to make me need it. But what comes off of animal husbandry? So, archery. So, animal husbandry it is. We'll go straight for it. Uh, now, here's the thing. You could kill those slingers... And I would like you to kill the Slingers, because I'd like you to kill three Barbarians, so we can get a nice boost towards the uh, Bronze working. But at the same time, I would really like it if you would uh, not just leave the city. So I'm going to let you... I'll kill them, whatever. Let's see what happens. Kill the Barbarians. Be done with it. There you go. I'd kind of like you to go back into the city, to be honest, but... You can do that on your next turn. Hopefully, <laughs> it'd be great if I lost my city to barbarians. That would be excellent. I know that I can't. I know that they can't move through there. It would take two turns for them to get to my city right now. But they might very well... Oh, they're attacking me. Not doing a very good job of it, but they are attacking me. Uh, I'm going to go back into the city. And I'm going to fortify until healed. Because I, you know, I'm defended in there. Everything's good. They are probably going to pillage my uh, mine there. Or my quarry. But that's fine. We just, uh, my progress towards political philosophy is advanced. Okay. Rumor has it that uh, Scythia is worshipping a pantheon of the gods focused on the river goddess belief. Okay. So we will get a major victory over these guys. But I don't really want to do it because these guys are still kind of wounded. Let's get a slinger. That's only going to take two turns, and then that means I can go ahead and fight these guys. Which is a thing I would really like to do. So, where's my scout, actually? Oh, there you are. So, you're not really exploring all that far away, are you? I mean, hold on a minute. Is that... Have I discovered another... That's a city-state of Carthage. Okay, I didn't realize I discovered another city-state. Okay. Fair enough. We have the early empire civic, which is nice. We'll choose another one. Drama and poetry. Let's see. We get the amphitheater, a building that has a base cost of 135 production with a maintenance cost of one gold. 
but it gives me plus two culture, a citizen slot, a great writer point per turn, and great work of writing slot. So that's useful. Uh, military tradition gives me flank. Yeah, we'll go for that. I want the support bonuses. Uh, as for this, we could go and get the campus, but we could also get the oracle, which is culture and faith. We can also get the hanging gardens, which is 15% growth in all cities. Which is not a bad thing either. Must be placed next to a river. We could put it there. So I, I see. Yeah, I could put it there. I could buy those tiles and put it up that way as well. But uh, I'm going to go for the hanging gardens. We'll build the hanging gardens, Wonder. And my, uh, my slingers, I would like you to uh, attack those guys. 